The DC-10 was notorious, and there was an accident back in the 70s where a pylon failed, and the pylon is that attachment to the wing on top of the engine. So you got the big engine underneath, you got the pylon on top, and it failed on a DC-10 back in the 70s, and we'll, I think we're going to do another video comparing these two in the future, but uh, it, the, the engine actually came off the aircraft same sort of thing you see here. It wasn't on the ground. It was actually airborne. I think they were at about 500 feet. Now, one of the things that you're going to get out of this investigation is that the NTSB already said that the ADSB data said the airplane got up to 400 feet. It did not get up to 400 feet. You can see that in the video. ADSB data is notoriously the way off when you're on the ground, right? It's it, once it gets up to about 400 or 500 real feet, then it's really, really accurate up to that point. But when you're on the ground, it's it's not accurate. You can see from the videos that the airplane doesn't get more than about 50 feet total. Now, the nose of the aircraft might be at 150 feet, but the actual stuff that hit anything was down around 50 feet or so. So at any rate, um, the, the engine could have separated for any number of reasons. It could have been a catastrophic failure of the engine that caused the pylon to fail and the engine came off. Or it could have been the pylon failed, which caused a catastrophic failure of the engine. Either way, it could have happened. Uh, there's a lot of people that think it's most likely the pylon because they had pylon failures in the past with those airplanes. However, the pylon failures in the, in the past were due to high lateral G factors on those pylons. In other words, the airplane got sideways with the airstream and the G's on the side, pushing on the side of those pylons caused the engine to come off. All right, this airplane, as I can see from the video, and you can see it's going straight forward right down the runway. So I don't think it was a pylon failure. I think it was actually the engine that failed. And that engine, when it failed, caused the number three engine to fail. I'm gonna show you a video here proving that in just a second. So that number three engine, which is the engine on the right wing, remember there's three engines on an MD-11. So the one on the left wing is number one, the one on the tail is number two, the one on the right wing is number three. Let's take a look at the video now in question and we're gonna slow this thing